I was asked today what the prohibition of Yichud is, and that is, there is a prohibition in the Torah for a married man not to be with a married woman, or actually any man to be with a married woman in seclusion uh, for more than, uh, you know, even 30 seconds or a minute. Meaning, if there's a married woman and a man, they shouldn't be in an isolated area. It's kind of common sense. So, uh, for example, they shouldn't travel in a car in a deserted area by themselves. They shouldn't stay together in a locked room by themselves. That is from the Torah. Now, there are obviously many details because, you know, even if they're by themselves in a Starbucks, if people are coming in and out, that's not really by themselves. Or if in they're in a office where people are walking in and out, or there are windows where everyone can see the room, that's not considered a seclusion either. So there are many details to how this exactly works. But that is from the Torah. The rabbis added a different level to that. And that is after the tragic story of Amnon and Tamar, the rab where where Tamar was raped by uh, Amnon, the rabbis added another level, and that was that a single girl and a single boy or man and woman shouldn't also be in seclusion. That is the rule of Yehud of being alone. Now, obviously, there are exceptions. For example, again, if someone can walk in at any time, or if the person's spouse is around, uh, really different things that can make sure that they know they're not alone. Uh, then the prohibition doesn't apply. But that's in general the rule of Yichud. Now, it's not just about something that's prohibited, it's also about something that can uh, uh, be very important at the wedding ceremony. And that is, after the chupa at a wedding, after the kinepi, uh, there is a custom, or halacha, depends which community you follow, uh, where the chatan and kala, the bride and the groom, go alone into a room, the room is locked, and part of their declaring themselves husband and wife is they're going into the situation which would have been forbidden for anyone else, and sitting there alone, and the idea is that uh, that, that now they are um, married and can be together, and so they sit there, usually they uh, have dinner, or it's just, uh, you know, where everyone's waiting for pictures, whatever it is, the bottom line is they have this uh, time in Yichud room as part of the requirements of the wedding. I, was, I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, uh, feel free to leave them in the comment section.